Hello, welcome back to Majora's Mask. Most recently in the series, we finished off Snowhead Temple, and we opened up the Goron Racetrack. So now we've got all the stray fairies, and today we'll probably be starting off uh, the quest to get a Pona, so we're going to have to reset time. Alright, so we got our magic upgrade. That's going to help us out with uh, the racetrack. And now that we have the powder keg, we can open Milk Road on day one to get a Pona. Alright, so let's go talk to this big Goron, and then we will reset time to start off the opponent quest. Uh, it's really touchy about where it wants me to be to uh, speak with this Goron. reason it just would not focus on him for some reason. Alright, that was a little uneventful, so we're just going to reset time and then we're going to head on over to Romani Ranch. Okay, so before we head over there, we need to go buy another keg bomb to open up for Amani Ranch. So we need to get some rupees and then head on over to the bomb shop. Luckily now with the bunny hood, every time we reset time, the uh, chest over there should respawn, so... Yeah, just can't forget to slow down time. <clears throat>
go buy our bomb from the bomb shop. Uh, this is a regular shop. I don't think we need anything from here. This cutscene's gonna play every time we come here until we get Epona back, so. I wish some of these were skippable on the N64. It's cool to show them off once, but once we've done them once, every time we reset time, the cutscenes play again. One of the strangest cutscenes in any Zelda game that I can think of. So we have aliens coming to abduct cows. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to cut here and in the next video we'll finish off Epona and the sword upgrade. So come back and catch us in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching.